Hello, my name is Morgan and Zena is my two-year-old registered AKC Doberman Pinscher. So in short, she's a purebred blue Doberman or Dobie for short. Doberman Pinschers are my absolute favorite dog breed and throughout my many years of research on them, I have found some pretty crazy statements made about the breed itself. So I just kind of wanted to make an informational video on Doberman Pinschers and debunk some of those myths for you. Myth number one, Doberman Pinscher size. Everyone thinks that a Doberman Pinscher is a large breed dog, uh, mostly because of their kind of like menacing stature and, and look. But to be honest with you, they're classified as a medium sized dog breed. Males weigh around 75 to 100 pounds and females are only roughly 65 to 90. So from personal experience, I can tell you that they are actually kind of being bred smaller than that as of late. Uh, for instance, Xena only weighs 55 pounds and she's fully grown. So long story short, these are not meant to be massive dogs. And if anyone tries to sell you on a warlock or a king Doberman, run away. <laughs> Those traits are a result of bad breeding. And if you want a large dog, find a breed who was safely bred to be a large dog. Next up, Dobermans do not have naturally straight ears. Dobermans are actually born with floppy ears and a straight, long, thin tail. So at the age of about two or three days, breeders will typically dock the tail and crop the ears. These are just kind of polite terms for chopping off the tail and mutilating the ears so that they stick up. You run the possibility of infection and all for pretty much nothing. All of these are done for the sake of tradition and there's no actually medically sound reason as to why tails are docked or ears are cropped. Basically cropping the ears and docking the tail makes the Doberman look meaner. That's one of the main reasons, just makes them more intimidating. And the surgeries are actually banned in a lot of countries, including the UK, but it's still accepted in America. Third myth I wanted to debunk, Doberman Pinschers are an aggressive breed. While the debate of nature versus nurture is still in the hands of the jury, there is absolutely no proof that Dobermans are born vicious. That being said, their AKC show standard look with the cropped ears and docked tail makes them appear to be even too intimidating just to test their personality. In reality, Dobermans are known to be needy cuddle bugs. Okay, well, mine is. <laughs> and to finish off the Doberman myths is one of my personal favorites. A Doberman pincher is just a standard size miniature pincher. Makes sense, right? Miniature pincher, Doberman pincher. Uh, it's completely false. A miniature pincher has actually been around for 300 years compared to the Doberman who has only been in existence for less than 200. Both German breeds, but um, Minpins were actually bred to chase rats while Dobermans were bred to be guard dogs, specifically for a taxpayer, <laughs> uh, it was how they were originally bred. But they are now used as service dogs, both for military in the guarding sense, or, um, or police and therapy. So that should tell you what kind of a personality they have, which means it's never set. It's how you train them. And mine just happens to be way too needy. <laughs> um, I hope you took away some good facts from today. And uh, if anything, just know that you need to do your research. Uh, whether you adopt or you purchase, every dog needs a home. Thanks for watching.